All right, here we got a, a thing. It's so beautiful. Oh, I know, isn't it pretty? Epidermodysplasia verruciformis. That's why we call it EDV, because who can say that? And you get big nuclei with cleared out kind of uh, funny chromatin. It's a, it's a weird HPV change. So this is basically a form of flat wart. And there's like a growing list of many, many different um, viral types that can be seen in EDV. And what you tend to get is some para on top sometimes. You get hypergranulosis, a common feature of Veruca, of warts. And you get this gray, blue, abundant cytoplasm. It's um, really vivid when you get on a freshly stained section, but it's this real expanded cytoplasm in the keratinocytes. It's this distinct gray blue color. If you go Google like EDV or go search on Twitter, I've tweeted about it many times because I like it so much. I have to restrain myself from taking more pictures because I have like a hundred pictures of it. I don't need more, but it's really cool. So anyway, it's a form of flat where we see it incidentally all the time. Uh, if it's the, the only thing to biopsy, I call it EDV. Um, and if it's in the background of like a nevus or a squame, it's, it's nothing. But some people do have a germline mutation that predisposes them to get this. And they get many, many flat warts all over that all look like this. And those patients have a higher risk of squamous cell carcinoma, particularly if there's sun damage. And we've seen a few uh, syndromic familial patients where both the mom and the daughter had it and already in their 20s were getting squames and stuff. So, so it's, uh, and I think anytime you have a flat wart, it's harder to tell it, it, they have more atypia. They have bigger nuclei because of the HPV. So especially if they're real sun damage, to me, it becomes real hard to tell. Is this just a funny flat ward or is this a squam in situ? I feel it's a lot harder to judge atypia once you have a uh, viral change. And I see squames um, in the sun damage skin away from the genital sites that have a viral change like all the time in my practice. Some other people tell me they never see that, but I feel like I see it on a, like a weekly basis. So but this is classic when you got that gray stuff, epidermal dysplasia, verruciformis, EDV.